Hello everyone, welcome to the Archipelago live stream. Drop me a comment in the chat to let me know you can hear me well and you're here. Say hello, don't be shy. There we go. Hello, Angela. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, awesome. Thank you so much for joining everyone. Those of you that, that don't know me, I'm Liam. I'm part of the Archipelago team and one of the developers. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be doing some editing with Quest 03 presets today. But this is also an opportunity for you to get any questions answered you might have about the presets, workflow, editing tips, anything you might have. So if you do get any questions, there is a Q&A option near the bottom. You'll see that option there. Just drop a question in. I can get answered during the live stream. Hey, Melissa. Chicago, what an awesome city. I've never visited, but I'd love to visit Chicago. Thanks for tuning in. So we'll get going shortly. Um, we've got quite a lot of amazing images we're going to be editing in this stream. So I'll let you know the way that this works. You can see the images on the screen now. So we've got 17 photos here. We might edit all of them. We might just edit a few. We'll see how it goes. We'll play it by ear. Uh, but if there's a particular image that you see on the screen that you want me to edit next, you can always throw that in the chat. Just put the number. You see the number just in the uh, top left corner of each of the images there. So just let me know which one you want to see next, and I can jump onto editing that one. If not, we'll just work through them top to bottom. And when I go on a photo in the top left, you will see the photographer's name up here. And you will also see the settings that we use to capture the image as well. So if you're wondering what focal length they used or what the settings were, you can see that up at the top left there as well. Big thank you to all the amazing photographers that have submitted images for us to use in this live stream. Some absolutely incredible work here. Oh, amazing. Thank you for tuning in from Ireland. I used to live in uh, Northern Ireland, actually, for about two years when I was seven years old. Cool. So we'll jump into the images in just a moment. Like I said, we're going to be editing with Quest 03 presets today. Absolutely stunning set. The uh, branded mug in the uh, in the shot there, didn't I? I think the water tastes better out of that cup. I've got to be honest. Cool. So we'll kick things off with this first image. If you have spotted anything that you want me to edit next, feel free to let me know in the chat. We'll jump on that after this one. So before we actually start the editing, let's just talk very briefly about Quest for anyone that doesn't know. It's our signature subscription series. Essentially, it allows you to get access to a new preset and profile collection each month. And this month's is Quest 03. So the subscription is eight US dollars each month. And you get those presets. Also gives you exclusive access to buy previous sets. If you're just joining now, Quest 01 and Quest 02, along with some amazing lens flares are available to buy from the store for $22 each. That's exclusive for members only as well. Cool. 
cool. So let's talk a little bit about Quest 3. This set is absolutely stunning. I think it's a really nice balance between a stylized set and a really clean set. Uh, it's got a really, really lovely mood to it and the profile is, is awesome. We'll take a look at that shortly as well. So let's just start off by getting the exposure and the white balance right. So it just needs a little bit of lifting. It's a beautiful photo of this. And a tiny little amendment to the temperature. Let's take a look at the set. So this is AQ031. I absolutely adore the greens in this set. Super nice. AQ032. Again, just a slight shift in those green tones. Super beautiful. Then AQ033, which is a really nice warm preset. So really nice balance set. You've got kind of a, a neutral starting point with uh, preset one, cooler toning with preset two, and warm toning with preset three. So for this, I think I'm gonna go for preset two. And now if we come up to the top of the basic panel here, we've got the dynamics profile. So it's set to 100 as default. It's a really nice starting point. And with this, you get the option to adjust the overall uh, tonality of the image. So if you drag it to the left, you get kind of a softer look, more moody. And if you drag it to the right, you get a more contrasty, clean look to the image. And I think you can, you can go either way. What you'll find is that for certain images you might prefer the profile all the way to the right or for other images you might prefer it all the way to the left or you might just have a style where you always go for um, the left versus the right. So for this I think I'm going to go all the way up. Let's go for 200. And let's just take a look at the before and after. Absolutely incredible. Let me know what you think in the chat. I just love the contrast between these kind of desaturated greens here, slightly cooler toned greens, and then the red of the hat. Skin tones are really nice in this set as well. So honestly with this, I don't think there's anything else I'd do with it. I think it looks really, really nice. There's the before, there's the after. That's Quest 3 preset 2. And Dynamics profile all the way up to 200. So I can see that Sarah's already listed off a whole bunch of photos that she wants editing next. Thank you for doing that. We'll take a look at those. George has asked about the uh, style of the sets that will be coming out. Now that the, there's going to be a lot of variety, the whole idea with, with Quest is that we want to release a wide variety of presets. Um, so the, the next set that's due after this month, Quest 4, is a clean, modern set. There's no grain um, as default with that set. So there will be a huge amount of variety with Quest. That's the whole vision behind it, is we can actually create whatever we want to create and every month we've got a different preset coming out. Getting a lot of love for those greens. Absolutely, they look incredible with this set. All right, cool. Let me take a look at what Sarah's looking at next. So six was your choice next, Sarah. Let's take a look at six, which is this one up here. So I'm just gonna straighten the image first of all, just a tiny little bit. I'm gonna brighten it up a touch, somewhere around there. Uh, white balance is looking good to me. So let's take a look at the presets. Look at that, super nice. That's one click 
with AQ3 preset one, preset two, and preset three. I mean, you could literally go with any of these for this image. I think I'm going to go for preset one because I like the kind of neutral look. Let's play around with dynamics. So you can see how if you drag it all the way to zero, you get this kind of really uh, sort of muted look, very soft, kind of moody. And then if you drag it up, you get a nice clean look. So whatever your preference might be or whatever that image needs, you've got the kind of ability there with one slider. I think for this somewhere around the middle looks really good actually. It's a nice balance between the two. So let's take a look at that before and after. Yeah, Sean, it's giving me wanderlust as well. It looks like a, I'm gonna guess it's a European city. Um, could be something like Italy, really beautiful looking. zoom in again those greens really really nice I love this kind of uh, toning that is putting in her clothes here as well and then skin tones are really really nice super clean All right, what's next? What do you want to see? Stick some numbers in the chat and we'll jump into those images next. I think Sarah, you just listed like six, seven, eight, nine. It was like almost all the photos. So while we're waiting for someone to throw some numbers in the chat, I'm just gonna move on to seven, but let me know what you want to see next. love the drama of this really nice mood I'm just gonna raise the exposure a little bit maybe a touch more warmth I quite like warm images but I do like the blues that we're getting in this mist or smoke that's behind them cool let's take a look so AQ031 super beautiful let's just apply that for now and I think for this I would go for the moody side. So I'll drag the dynamics profile down to zero. And we get that kind of nice soft mood across the image versus the kind of higher contrast, more luminance. And we drag it to the right. I mean, either look is really stunning, but I think I quite like this because it's kind of, uh, I think it's aligning quite nicely with the mood that was there in the image initially. This would be preset two and preset three. I think for this one is a nice balance. We've still got this kind of cool tone in, in, the, uh, in the background, but it's offset nicely with the soft warmth of the skin tone here. Don't apologize, Sarah, it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Angela. The, the greens are amazing, but the neutral toning is really, really nice. It definitely is. Thanks for joining, Mark. Just to reset the uh, the stream for anyone that's just joining, we're taking a look at Quest 03 presets. This is the latest release from our signature subscription series. So we're doing some live editing with that. If you have any questions, whether that's about the presets themselves, whether it's about Quest as a platform, uh, editing tips, workflow tips, anything like that, just throw them in the Q and A uh, box next to the feed and I'll try and get those answered during the stream. All right, let's take a look what we've got next. Request in 14 from Josephine. Let's take a look at 14. Let's do that next. Oh, 
Ah, cool. Yes. Something a bit darker. So with images like this, um, sometimes we would usually re recommend setting the exposure first uh, and obviously setting the white balance before you apply the preset, uh, just because it's often easier to do that before applying the preset. Um, but with images that are quite dark, uh, what you usually find is you'll have to adjust that a little bit after applying the preset. So I'm just going to increase it a little bit. I think white balance I'm quite happy with. It's on the warmer side, but I think that's going to work quite well for this image. So let's go and hover over the presets. This is AQ031. This is 2 and 3. So I think I really like the cool toning that we're getting in the shadows with 2. It's offset nicely with that warm light that's spilling in from the window. So let's go for two. I'm just going to play around with exposure now that I've uh, selected the preset. So I don't want to lose too much of that kind of natural contrast that we're getting. So I'm going to keep it quite dark. Let's take a look at the dynamics profile. Yeah, so this is um, a really good example where the dy dynamics profile can help based on the, the lighting scenario. So I think dragging this to the left just softens down those highlights that are coming through the window, just balances the image out a little bit. And actually we can then increase the exposure a touch and that gives us a really nice look. So we get this kind of cooler toning in the shadows here. But the nice warm light coming through the window. Alternatively, we could go kind of preset three and go for the warm look. And if we drag the dynamics down to zero again, we can go for that kind of overall warm aesthetic, which again, I think that suits this really well as, as well. So you could kind of take it two different ways. It's nice to have that option in the set. So there's the before, there's the after. This one is with Quest 03 preset three with the dynamics profile set to zero. Just looking out the window, because we've actually got lovely blue sunny skies. I mean, it's sunset very shortly um, where I am in the UK. But it's been a bit of a bizarre day. We've had snow, we've had rain, we've had crazy wind, and now we've got sun and blue skies, so craziness. All right, let's take a look. What have we got? Let's go for Daryl's Choice. Hey, Daryl, thanks for tuning in, uh, which is number 10. Oh, yeah, good choice. I love this photo. So let's take a look. I think I might do a little bit of transform. Mm, didn't really change anything. Probably my eyes, but I feel like it's kind of slightly off, but that'll do. I'm going to raise the exposure a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more warmth to the white balance. Maybe, yeah, maybe something like that. So there we go, preset one. Quest 031. Quest 032. Really like the, the way the colors are contrasting in this one. And then Quest 033. Now that is going to be a hard choice. I think I'm going to go for one. But let me know in the chat whether you go for something different. I'm going to raise the exposure a tiny little bit and let's have a look at the dynamics profile. I think for this, I quite like the kind of pop of contrast. So I'm going to increase the dynamics profile somewhere around about 140, I think looks good. It gives it a really kind of fresh, clean look, which I think suits this very, very well. So you can see how easy these presets are to use. Really beautiful skin tones, got a really nice um, emerald sort of color in the tiles here behind her and um, these beautiful signature greens.
patterns that we're seeing throughout this set. I love the kind of neutral toning, this, this kind of like warm neutral toning to the, uh, to the clothes here as well. All right, let's jump into the next image. So we've got Sarah's asking for nine, please. I think because you said please, let's do it. I like a bit of politeness. So this is a good one because we've got an indoor portrait. So we can see how these work for indoor. So I'm just gonna crop this in a little bit just to so kind of get rid of some of the distractions. Raise the exposure a little bit as well, and I think it needs a touch more warmth, maybe around about there. Let's take a look. So, preset one incredibly nice, it works really well indoors as well as outdoors. So this is preset one, preset two, and preset three. Now, I think for this, because we've got a little bit of um, blue in this image, so we've got this kind of record player behind. Uh, the record in her hand, the color of her jeans or trousers. I think we're not gonna go for preset three, which is overall warm and it kind of desaturates those blues. Um, I think we'll go for one or two. And I think for this, I'm really liking two because we, we just kind of really retain those, those blues. So let's have a little look. Dynamics profile. Again, this is gonna be personal preference. I think it looks really nice on both ends. Um, for me, I quite like just increasing it a little bit, somewhere around about 113, I've got it on there. That looks really nice. Okay, so <laughs> the first three, <laughs> first two votes were 01 and 03, and I've gone for two, so apologies. <laughs> Personal preference, you see. It's all subjective, but you get all three of them in the set, so you can use whatever you want. But yeah, they do all look really nice. Like you could literally go whichever way you want. I think I just like those blues, so that's why I went with the preset two. And I think what you could do with this is just increase the warmth a little bit. So you're getting a little bit of that warmth that you would get from um, preset three, but you're keeping those blues. I think that looks really nice to me, but who knows? You tell me. Onward Films, I'll let you pick the uh, the preset for the next image because uh, I kind of jumped ahead. So I'll let you decide on the next one. So let's see, what have we got? Seven, we've done already. 17. Ooh, yes. This dramatic outdoor portrait. So I'm just going to raise the exposure a tiny touch. I want to keep the mood there. Um, I think the white balance is looking pretty good as well. Maybe a tiny touch warmer. Yes, yeah, somewhere around there. So let's hover over these. So preset one. Preset two. And preset three. I think the mood is really nice for this, I think it works really, really well. One, two, and three. So Onward Films, if you're there, you're gonna pick on this one. Let me know what you want, one, two, or three.
Okay, so we've got a selection. Thank you. We've gone for two. Let's do it. This is the one I would have actually gone with anyway, because I think with the image that we started with, which was this, I think the cooler tone in really suits it. So I'm just going to raise the exposure a little bit. I'm going to play with the dynamics profile. So I think, although this is a moody image, I think I'm going to increase the dynamics profile so we get a little bit more contrast, a little bit more luminance. I think it just brings out them a little bit. We get a little bit more drama in the clouds because we get these kind of highlights popping through and we still have this nice dark cloud up at the top here. Um, let's have a little play with temperature. I think we could get a little bit warmer. Yeah, I think somewhere around there kind of is a nice balance. We get those cooler tones in the greens in the mountains behind them but we've got a nice soft uh, warmth to her dress and the skin tones as well so i think this is a nice balance between the two. Oh, is this your old vimeo account is this is this name uh not kind of valid anymore what what's your actual name then on with films i'll call you by that going forward Oh, I've just seen the comment actually, it's Chris. Hey Chris. So there we go, this is the before and after. Super beautiful. I really like what it's done with the colors in the dress here. It's kind of pushed the sort of pink to be a little bit more of a peachy color, which I think is really nice. And actually for this photo, it kind of matches the flower in her little bouquet there as well, which is nice. Uh, suit looks really nice. It's very similar color to what it was originally, but of course we've got this really nice tone into the uh, to the greens in the background, and we still got really nice drama in the clouds there. Chris, I think I might just call you uh, Onward Films going forward. I prefer that to your actual name, I think. So it looks like a unanimous decision for preset two on that. So I'm glad I made the right choice. All right, so what's next? What, which photo do you want me to edit next? We've got quite a few left, so let me know what you want to see. Also, just a reminder, we have the Q&A box if you have got any questions that you want to get answered during the stream. Uh, just drop them in there. Those can be questions about Quest, about these presets in particular, about the platform. They could be about Archipelago. It could be about uh, workflow tips, editing tips. Throw it at me. I'll try and get it answered for you. I completely agree, Mark. This is a lovely set of presets. I've been absolutely loving using these for the last couple of months. They're incredible. So Josephine says 12. Anna, I don't think I've done one of your choices yet. So let's do 15 next, and then we'll do 12 after that. So let's take a look, 15. Lovely photo. Cool, so I think exposure-wise, it's maybe a tiny little increase. Uh, white balance is good I think so let's take a look this is preset one quest preset two and preset three I think it's a toss-up between preset one and three but I think I like the consistency to the warm toning of three you can tell me if I'm wrong in the chat, but I'm going to go with three anyway. Um, but let's go for that and let's play around with the dynamics profile. So again, you could go either way on this, but I think just getting that extra pop of contrast and luminance looks really good. So I would go somewhere on that. Like that is a super easy edit. That is the before and after. The reds in her lipstick look absolutely incredible. Skin tones are really beautiful. Got this nice warm toning that's running through the shadows. So in her hair here, beautiful light warmth in her sweater. I think this looks really, really good.
love how it's balanced out the toning in her skin here. If we look at the original here, we've got a slight different toning in the, the kind of skin around her eye here. We can kind of see some little blemishes, but actually, you know, without doing any retouching, it's not made the image like overly soft. It's just kind of um, kind of made those tones really consistent across her skin, which is really really nice. And obviously we've got a nice little bit of uh, grain here as well, which is just adding to that kind of softness. Love it. Yes, goldy tones. I I'm a sucker for a warm image, so I do love the gold tones. All right, so we said 12 next, which was for Josephine, I think. So we've got another indoor shot. This one's a studio style shot from Benny. Really nice image. I really like these sort of like uh, pulled back studio shots where you can kind of see the edge of the backdrop and stuff. I think that's, a, that's quite a cool look. So let's go ahead and increase the exposure a little bit. I'm gonna add a tiny touch more warmth, I think. Yeah, just somewhere around there. Let's take a look. So Quest 031, Quest 032, and Quest 033. What are we thinking? Let me know in the chat which one do you think is going to be the best preset for this image. I've got one in mind, but I'm not going to tell you what. One, two, or three. Yeah, awesome. We'll do uh, we'll do photo eleven next. Thanks for the uh, suggestion. Sean's gone for O two. Let's see what everyone else thinks. Oh, we've got another one for two. Oh yes, that's the one I had in mind as well. I think the color of the backdrop it just sings when you put this preset on. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm just going to raise the exposure a tiny little bit, and then let's have a little play with dynamics. I'm going to lower it a little bit, so somewhere around about there. 55 I think looks good. It kind of just balances out a little bit. Um, but again, we've got really nice skin tones. Nice neutral color in his t-shirt here, but then the color of that backdrop and the blue in his jeans, I think it just is such a nice look. So this is Quest 03 preset 2. So there's the before and after. It just absolutely beautiful. And literally we've done exposure, tiny uh, tweak to the temperature, applied the preset and then tweak the profile, done. Super easy. Love it, let's move on. So we were gonna go for 11 I think next wasn't it let's take a look okay beautiful photo so a bit of an increase in the exposure and I think it needs quite a bit of warmth just to kind of get it back to being where it should be somewhere around there all right preset one absolutely incredible Love that. Preset two. Preset three. I think I may be wrong, but I'm gonna go for preset one. I think I like that kind of neutral starting point and I really love I really love those greens I think as well. To drag dynamics all the way down so we get that kind of softer look to the image. 
maybe a touch more warmth actually I think would be good yeah that looks really nice to me let's take a look at the before and after again super easy edit we just tweaked the exposure very slightly increased it a little bit added a bit more warmth to temperature applied the preset and tweaked the profile done All right, let's start flying through them. What do you want to see next? Let me know in the uh, let me know in the chat, and we'll start moving through these edits. I'm going to jump into another one, so let's go for let's go for image number two, which is this one here. So let's have a look. Lens correction. I'm just going to apply lens correction, and then I'm going to bring the vignette down a little bit, just so we're not brightening it too much. I think the overall exposure is probably. a about right we'll, we'll apply the preset and see what we think and yeah let's go for it so i'm going to go for aq031 default at 100 I think that looks really really nice on this so we just have these desaturated blues in the sky but it still has a nice cool feel to it which just offsets really nicely with the skin tones and we've got this kind of nice grayish color to the plane in the background there as well very pretty So Mark said, are diffusion and luminance somehow related in these presets? Not too sure what you mean, Mark. If you can clarify your question, I'll try and answer it for you. So for anyone just joining the stream, welcome, I'm Liam. And today we're taking a look at Quest 03 presets. We're gonna be doing some live editing with them and I'm also gonna answer any questions you have. So use the Q&A functionality if you do have any questions you'd like to get answered. Also let me know in the chat what image you'd like me to edit next. We've gone through a few of them already, but we've got a few left. So let me know what you want to see next. So George has mentioned that he loves the terrain profiles. I am completely with you on that, George. Now would be a good time to mention that terrain is being retired and it's currently on sale. So if you if you haven't got terrain, you should definitely check it out. It's an incredible uh, set of presets and profiles. The profiles are incredible. And that set will be retired on the 16th of April, but it's currently half price. You don't need a discount code or anything you can just jump on archipelago presets.com and you'll see them in the store there already marked down by 50 percent so definitely take a look cool so we've got a request for image eight let's take a look and then we'll do 13 next. So this is really nice. Got to love a Land Rover. Just gonna increase the exposure, bring up the temperature, probably somewhere around about there. Let's take a look. Whoo, talk about mood. Those greens are amazing. That's 03 preset one. O three preset two, 
O3 preset four. So one, two, three. Did I say preset four? Preset three. And it's a hard choice, but I think the warmth is drawing me in. I think O3 preset three is gonna be the one for this. But let me know your thoughts. Let's go for it. I love that. I think that's really nice. I love the kind of consistency to the toning preset three. It just kind of dials everything back and just has that nice soft hue, that kind of warm hue across the image. That's the before and after, that's Quest 03 preset 3. Cool, so let's take a look at the next image. So 13 was the next request. Thank you, Anna. Awesome, this is a really nice photo. Now, I don't think it needs much doing to it. Maybe just a slight bump in the exposure just to make sure that the, uh, the couple here are nicely exposed. Let's take a look at AQ031. Two, three, four. And I think I'm getting drawn in by the really nice blue tone in the sky the greens that you get with uh, preset two. So I'm gonna go for that. Let's play around with dynamics first. Now, this is a sort of scenario where it really helps to increase your dynamics profile. So because we've got that backlighting, we're losing quite a bit of contrast um, on the subjects. So we can just increase dynamics there and it just brings them out a little bit more, adds a little bit more contrast. So I think we could probably go, let's go all the way up, why not? 200. I think I'm just going to add a little bit more warmth just because we've got that sun coming in from the back. And that looks super, super nice. So again, those beautiful green tones, the blues in the sky in the background here. So let's just take a look at the before. So that's before and this is after. And then just the kind of the way it lifts and softens the whites in the image and then these skin tones. Super nice. So there's the side by side before and after. Let's zoom in. Yes, I agree, Mel. It is subtle but effective. Really, really nice. Cool, what I've got left, let's have a look. So we've not edited three, four, five, 16. They are the ones we've got left, three, four, five, 16. So let's just work through those. So let's go to image three. Awesome, so I'm just gonna, let's take a look. I think I'm quite happy with the white balance exposure looks okay, I think. Let's take a look. Ooh, that looks so nice. So that's Quest 3, preset 1, preset 2, preset 3. And I think it's got to be 2. I absolutely love this preset, especially on things like this. So I'm just going to have a look at dynamics. And I think, actually, if we decrease it, we get that really nice, soft look. It just kind of balances out. Um, there's some quite harsh highlights hitting the uh, subjects here, so it just balances that out nicely. I think we could get away with increasing the warmth a little bit more actually. Let's go for somewhere around there. So we've still got a nice kind of separation. We've got the cool tones in the background, in the, in the trees and the leaves. We've got the cool tones, the blues in his shirt here as well and then we've got a nice soft warmth 
um, to the skin tones, to a hat, and then their shoes down here as well. So it just really, really nice on this. Love it. So let's take a look at image four. So a really nice back street image here. I'm just gonna straighten up a tiny little bit and increase the exposure. And white balance looks good to me, so I'm quite happy with that. Let's take a look at the presets. Oh, look at that, that's literally one click of the preset after we've tweaked the exposure and white balance, and that looks incredible. That's preset one from Quest 3. And then we've got two and preset three. Again, you could go all three ways with this, just dependent on your taste. But I think, although I like the warmth that we're getting from preset three, and I do like the blues from preset two, I think. The first preset is just a nice balance between the two. And I think if we just, I actually like the dynamics profile increased on this. Just, it just adds a little bit more pop to the image. So Nikki says, can you use more than one profile at the same time? It's not a dumb question. No question is a dumb question. So thank you for asking. Um, so you can't use more than one profile at the same time. You can mix and match presets and profiles. So if you apply a preset, let's say you apply uh, Quest 3, one of the presets there, but you want to choose a profile from another set, you can do that. You just jump up into the, the um, profile browser here and you could apply something like um, the Diffusion profile from Quest 1 or Incandes from Quest 2. So you can mix and match. Actually, that looks really nice on this image. So if you want to kind of go that way, you could just apply Incandes and then of course you can control that here. Uh, and actually, this is what we're gonna do with this image because it looks super nice. So let's go, go with it. I'm just gonna bring the highlights down a tiny touch. That looks super nice. So if you are new to Quest this month and you only have Quest 3, um, you can go onto the store and purchase Quest 2. So if you really like the look of this, the Incandes profile in Quest 2 is super, super nice. Um, it's one of my favorite profiles, it's incredible. Um, so Quest 1, Quest 2 and the um, Quest tools are all available to purchase exclusively if you are a subscriber, so you can jump on the store and get those. So you can mix and match. You can't apply two at the same time. One option would be to export the image and re-import the JPEG, and you could apply a profile um, to the JPEG, but it would look a little bit differently um, than applying it to a RAW, so just keep that in mind. But if you've got kind of a real desire to have two profiles on the same image, you can do that, you just need to export it, re-import the JPEG and then apply the other profile or export it to Photoshop and save it back into Lightroom and then apply the other profile. Um, so there is a way sort of around it, but as standard, it's just one profile at a time. And then you also said, if I save a preset with the character profile, will it save the profile? So, Theoretically, yes, you could include that. I would definitely advise not say like updating the current preset. So don't sort of save over the top of the current preset um, because you'll then find that it maybe won't work in as many situations. Um, so if you're gonna do that, save it as, as uh, a user preset, um, apply the profile you want, save it as user preset. I would highly recommend naming it what the original preset was and um, maybe putting in there that you've got the character profile from Xfilm just in the name so that you know for reference later on what that preset and profile combination is. Um, so if you're sharing it in the, uh, in the Archipelago Collective group, you know which preset and profile combination you're using. So you can absolutely do that. But yeah, I'd say save it as a, as a separate preset and just name it based on the presets and profiles that you combined.
So let's take a look at the before and after with this. I love that. I think this is a really nice combination, actually. I, I haven't yet tried this, so I'm glad I've done this on the stream. Um, so this was uh, preset uh, one from Quest 3 with the incandescent profile from Quest 2. Lovely combination. All right, what we've got left, let's take a look. So we've got photo number five. Let's take a look at this one. Just a little bit more warmth, I think, not too much. So preset one, preset two and preset three. This is a great image to see exactly what it's doing with the greens because you've got all that lovely greenery around the model there. And I think it's got to be two. I think this looks really nice. I'm just going to bring the exposure up a tiny touch. Let's have a little look at dynamics. Yeah, let me increase it a little bit. So 144. And there's the before and after. I've just got to zoom in and show you those incredible greens next to the uh, the beautiful neutral toning that we're getting in the dress here as well. So just a reminder that for anyone that's not already subscribed to Quest, Quest is our monthly subscription series. We release a new preset and profile collection every month and you can be part of it for a monthly price of eight US dollars. You're gonna get three presets and a profile each month, as well as bonus content. We do editing tutorials, shooting techniques, quick tips and more. So make sure if you're a subscriber, make sure to check out the education uh, page in the membership area. We've got loads of content on there already and more is landing soon as well. Thanks for sticking with the stream. We've got, I think, one more photo to edit. So let's do that. And then if anyone fancies it, we could take a quick look at next month's Quest preset. Quest 04, but we'll only do it if you uh, really, really want it. So let me know in the chat if you want to see that. Let's have a look at this photo, which is number 16. Absolutely adore this photo. It's incredible. Super nice. I'm just going to increase the, uh, the white balance a little bit. This is Quest 03 Preset 1, Preset 2, and Preset 3. I think it's got to be 2 again. Just going to increase the temperature just to make sure the skin tones are looking good. And let's play around with dynamics. I think a slightly softer look, so maybe somewhere around 70, I think, is good. Oh, so George says, no, I want a surprise. All right, you're gonna have to close your eyes when I, when I take a look at that because Josephine, Melissa, Mel have all said yes. So we, we'll take a look at Quest 4, but George, you're just gonna have to close your eyes when we get to that part. So this is Quest 3, preset two. You get those really nice blue tones in the water here. This is the before and after. So a slight tweak to the uh, temperature, just increasing the temperature a little bit there. Uh, exposure looking good already, so I don't do anything with that. And that looks really, really nice. Let's zoom in and take a look.
Cool. Just as a reminder, if you have got any questions, if you've got any um, anything that you want me to show you in terms of workflow, any techniques, um, any questions like Nikki, we're asking about the profiles, just feel free to throw those in. It can be in the Q&A, it can just be in the chat, doesn't matter. Um, and I can try and get those answered on the stream. But I think let's take this opportunity to take a look at next month's release, which is Quest 4. So let's start off with this image. So Quest 4 is designed to be a really clean set. Um, it doesn't have any grain as default, because it gives a really clean look. And it's kind of focused on uh, more cool toning. So you'll see what it does with the greens and the blues uh, in the images. So let's just increase the exposure. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more temperature there as well. So let's take a look. So quest for preset one. And the profile that comes with quest four is called Aurora. And this allows you to adapt the toning of the shadows in the image from warm through to cool. It also adjusts the hue of the green toning and the luminance of blues as well. So if we drag it this way, we're gonna get a warmer toned image. If we drag it this way, we're going to get a cooler toned image. So I think for this, a little bit cooler looks really, really nice. There's the before and after. So that's Quest 04 preset one with the Aurora profile. So this next image, I'm just gonna bring up the exposure quite a bit. And we need to do a little bit of transforming, I think as well, just to straighten things up. And let's increase the temperature somewhere around about there. And let's take a look. So this is Quest 04 preset two. So before and after. So again, that Aurora profile, if you drag it to the left, you're gonna get warmer toning in the shadows. If you drag it to the right, you're gonna get the cooler toning. So there's the before and after. This is Quest 04 preset two. Super clean. And you can see, so this is the Aurora profile set to 147. So we've got a little bit of cool toning just being pushed into the shadows down here. Let me know what you think in the chat. The third preset in this set is a little bit warmer. So this is AQ04 preset three. But again, we've got that Aurora profile so we can either push the shadows to be more warm or we can push them to be more cool. So I think for this, having them to the left and really pushing that warm look looks really, really nice. Here's the before and after. If we zoom in, we've got really nice warm toning throughout. You can see the colors in the shirt there the nice detail in the bokeh down here as well. So it's really clean, really detailed. And just to give you an idea, so this is AQ041, AQ042, AQ043. So 
So there you go, that's your sneak peek at Quest 4. That's coming next month, the first week of May. So last call, if you've got any questions you want to get answered during the stream, just let me know now. We'll have time to do that. We'll get wrapped up shortly. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, just a reminder, we have a sale going on at the moment for two of us, our archipelago sets that are being retired. Um, so Terrain and Odyssey. Um, let me just show you those really quickly, actually, just for anyone that hasn't seen those sets before. So let's jump back into the images we had before. Um, let's go to this one. And I'll show you very quickly what those sets entail. So let's just reset that one. I'm going to raise the exposure. Bring the warmth back up a tiny touch. So both Odyssey and Terrain are being retired on April 16th. So from now until then, they are half price. You don't need to use a discount code or anything like that. You can just jump on archipelagopresets.com and they're there in the store already marked down. Uh, so let's take a look at Odyssey first incredible set of presets these kind of run through from warm through to cooler really nice mood you got these beautiful black and whites um, in the odyssey set as well i think odyssey 7 is is a stunning black and white um, pulls out tons of detail it's really really nice um, but let's take a look what should we use on this i think odyssey 6 has got a really nice mood actually let's go ahead and apply that you get the golden profile so this increases the warmth in the image. It starts in a neutral position. You can drag it left if you want it to be cooler. You can drag it right if you want it to be warmer. So we'll get this beautiful mood. Really, really nice. You also get a bunch of tools here as well. So you've got the ability to adjust things like the color. So if you feel like it's a little bit too desaturated, you can hit color, color plus, and that just brings a bit of that color back into the image. You've got grain tools, detail tools, uh, lens corrections. So a nice set of tools alongside the presets there as well. And then Terrain, which is another incredible, incredible set. There's a real variety of presets in Terrain. So really this is for everyone because th there's such a big variety in the presets. Every preset comes with a profile. You'll see in here, Terrain actually has eight unique creative profiles. So tons of flexibility. Um, again, you can mix and match these. So this is a great set even just for the profiles. Um, I love it. I think for this, let's go for something like Terrain 2. And this applies the Alpine profile. So you can see that gives you the ability to control exactly how much of that contrast and toning we're pulling into the image. And again, we've got two black and whites in this set as well, Terrain 7 and Terrain 8 and a couple of tools, We've got Lens Correction and Shadow Plus. So if we go ahead and apply one of the black and whites, so Terrain 7, you've got the Glacial Profile here, so we can decide exactly how much of that we want in the image. I quite like the bold look there, but then we can go Shadow Plus and just bring out a little bit of detail in the shadows there. So incredible sets, they will be retired, they won't be coming back um, after April 16th, so do take advantage if you are interested in those. As Sean said, terrain for travel and landscape is incredible. They're both really, really nice sets. Um, I think Odyssey gets a lot of recognition for its creaminess. Um, so yes, two really awesome sets. Half price until April 16th. So take advantage of archipelagopresets.com. So that's it for the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Spread the word about these as well. Um, this will be available to view after the stream ends. Uh, but we're going to be doing these at least once a month. So spread the word. We'd love for more people to get involved in these live as we're doing them. Thanks so much. And I'll see you next time.